That Sober Guy podcast contains adult content, merciless truth, and emotional nudity. Listener discretion is advised. I'm Shane Raymer. You're listening to That Sober Guy podcast, and we help people stay sober. Good to be here with you today. Glad you're here. If it's your first time, welcome. We're going to talk about putting on some reggae and slowing the hell down today. Also got a big announcement to make. I'm super pumped about that. Get to that in just a minute. Be sure to check us out at thatsoberguy.com. Let's see. You can leave us a voicemail. You can send us a message through the contact form if you want to reach out. You got questions, feedback, anything. You can also grab how to navigate the first 90 days of sobriety digital podcast course. That's on the website. Or you can grab a hat, a hoodie. Uh, They're both good quality items, as Cousin Eddie would say. Clark, you mind if I take that burnt chair off your hands there? If you don't mind me asking how much it sets you back. It's a Christmas vacation quote. But they are. The hats, the hoodies, they're good quality. I like them. I think it's a Yupong snapback. They also got the dad style hat. They got the hoodies. It's like fleece inside. Super sick. Very comfy. I actually put a promo code in for you too. Uh, it'll go to the end of the month, to the end of February. It's no hangover because who the hell wants a hangover anymore? Fuck that. It's one thing I do not miss. It is the hangovers. So if you order some merch, a hoodie, a hat, a shirt, use the promo code no hangover for free shipping through the end of February. You can get all of this stuff, all this info, resources, podcasts, all kinds of stuff. One more time, go to that sober Everything's on the website. I have an announcement. Who wants an announcement? I'm, I'm really, 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 really. I sound like a, a wrestler right now just because I'm so excited. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what wrestling. I'm not even into wrestling. How about my hat? If, you, if you're if you on uh, the announcement, actually, that I'm going to make here, the site, you'll be able to get videos. Uh, and for those who are on there, you'll get this video, my hat. You like that? Don't let me do shots or coke. That's what my hat says right now. Pretty sick, isn't it? I love it. Isn't it? <laughs> you said tit. <laughs> Who loves Beavis and Butthead? Anybody? Any Beavis and Butthead fans out there? <laughs> I used to be able to do a better impression. That was terrible. Raymer, you suck. All pumped up. Hell yeah, we're going to do this announcement. Let me roll through and get all the weirdness out. i got to get this weirdness out of my system real fast. That usually, that's usually how it is the first couple of minutes till I get going in the show. It's a little odd, a little weird, a little awkward. I'm socially awkward for those of you who don't know in some situations. It's easy to uh, be behind a microphone on a podcast, but and I can speak in front of lots of people or play music in front of lots of people, but for some reason when it gets into like social time, I can be a little bit weird, and I'm feeling a little bit weird right now, but fuck it! Oh, I just broke the pen cap. See? Nerves. Let's read some iTunes reviews really quick before I make this sudden announcement. Now, I think Papa, but this comes on iTunes, so if you want to leave us a review, please do so. Uh, if you can contribute one way, a five-star good review on how you love the show always helps. If it's helped you, if it's helped a family member... Please do it. Do it now, damn it. I fucking hate you. I'm just kidding. I love you. I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. It's a free country. Do you remember that back in the day? Be like, oh, dude, you shut up. You, you don't, you don't, don't call me that. I'll call you that if I want. It's a free country. Get off my property. Remember those ones? (laughs) Get off my, I remember telling kids that get off my property. I'm like, bitch, you live in an apartment. This ain't your property. You rent. <laughs> All right. Here's the, here's the reviews. This comes from Papa Bear of Two Cubs, who I, I thought I read a different review of this one last time, but it looks like he edited it. I don't know. It said, with all the COVID going on, a new work schedule, very hard to get to a meeting. Or maybe I did read this one last week. Really enjoying listening to the podcast after listening to the most recent episodes. See, I wanted to edit my review. So he said, first off, 
enjoy the podcast. It's been my recharge for the week with being unable to get to a meeting with everything going on. <coughs> I see. Good man right here. I think this was the edit. One of the biggest support is my wife. Shout out to your to your wife, Papa Bear, two cubs. She's been there for me from day one, as has my lady too, the Jess, since day one. If it wasn't for her, I'd be in the gutter, no doubt. Uh, goes on to say, keep up the great work, and thank you for taking the time to make the podcast. Good stuff right there, brother. Thank you. Glad you got a good lady by your side helping you along. Always, uh, always good stuff. This next one comes from, oh man, I know who this is. This is my dude. He said, my dude, five stars, my homeboy, Jeremy. Jeremy, I, Jeremy and I used to live together back in the day, even before I was married to the Jess. It was me, Jeremy, my boy, Carson, my boy, Ryan Rogers, rest in peace, Ryan. We lost uh, Ryan quite a few years ago, um, man, to, to addiction, really. I mean, when it comes down to it. Uh, and he was he was doing good for a minute and you know that the 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 addiction uh stronghold i guess man it'll, it'll just creep up when you least expect it and that's why you know we we try to keep in connection and all that good stuff but anyways man i miss that dude very much but good to hear from jeremy uh <laughs> this is great he says papa roach woo we used to scream that shit all the time, dude, because back in the day, this was before Papa Roach got big. And many of you have heard Dave from Papa Roach on the podcast. He's a good buddy of mine. He was on a couple of weeks ago. I think that's probably what Jeremy's referring to. Uh, he says, Viva la cucaracha! Shane, you're the man. Missed you on the month that you took off. Glad you're back, Jeremy. Dude, brother, I miss you too, man. We need to link up. We'll do that. We got each other's numbers, so we're, we'll are we holler back. Hopefully, you hear this, and uh, maybe I'll shoot you a text when I'm done actually recording just to say what's up. But, uh, yeah, it's good to be back. It's good to be uh, recording again, staying connected, back in meetings, trying to get back on uh, the uh, just the, the spiritual connection, I guess, because, man, when I'm off, I'm off, and... Man, that was a rough couple of months. In any case, please leave us a review. Appreciate both... Uh, of the reviews today, all the reviews at that good stuff. Um, what's next on the old list here? Let's see. Let me let me, uh, let me slow down for a minute since the title of today's podcast is put on some reggae and slow the hell down. I just burped. I let it. I I did a silent one though for you. Okay, so I know it. People, maybe maybe you're not. Maybe you don't give a shit. Maybe you do. You're ready for this announcement. What the hell is he talking about? He's gonna make an announcement. What is it? Here's the announcement. As many of you know, it's no secret, I disconnected from all social media platforms, all of them. It was a difficult decision, uh, being that we had such a great following, uh, a, a great community uh, from the podcast and just in recovery, and we built it over quite a few years. Um, but I just felt like I have to be true to what I believe in. And there's a lot of things that didn't line up for me in uh, the social media space. And I'll just leave it at that. So I bounced. Um, I did talk a little bit about it back in 2018 when I got rid of Facebook. Uh, there's an episode. I'm not sure what number it is. I don't have it in front of me, but it's with Tim Stodart from Sober Nation, a homie out in Florida. He's got a great platform in Sober Nation and, and some other uh, projects that he works on. But we had had a conversation about Facebook, what it was doing to um, the culture, our society, our young, our young people, even our adults, the infighting, that kind of stuff. And don't get me wrong, there's good things about social media too. So I'm not trying to sit up here on a soapbox and be a hater. There's good things about them. There's there are tools to be used like anything. But for me, just wasn't working out. Deleted Facebook in 2018. Deleted Instagram and Twitter last year. And it was tough because I lost like all my whole community of people, which I didn't really want to do. But I had faith that there would be uh, something else to move into that aligned with a little bit more of what I believe in, what the podcast is about, uh, and a place where we can have... Um, you know, where we can build, I guess, a good sober community and have some fun, uh, be able to speak our minds and be able to post videos, content, podcast, uh, all that kind of stuff. So what are you getting at, Raymer? 
what the hell is so what is he talking about did he did he create a social media platform that would be fucking awesome that's quite the task um i finally found something though that i think is great for building back up a private community with social media for all of us to enjoy together you can be a part of it i'm a part of it because i started the 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 uh the community i guess uh and it aligns with the podcast values it aligns with uh our values in recovery um and it's the way that i'd like to interact and i think you would too and do things as we kind of move forward with sober guys so um here's what it is i created a locals site has anybody heard of locals it's really fucking cool in my opinion um a lot of people use it uh dr drew uses it i'm actually i have a quote or a a post i want to read here in in just a couple of minutes from from him that i thought was interesting um but there's a lot of different artists and different people who have skills and platforms and podcasts and uh comedians all different types of people anybody can use it anybody can get on there and start a locals community maybe you're into fucking cats and you're like oh man i have this i have a really cool cat community and we talk about cats all day and you like got 37 cats living in your house i don't know that's i know it's so random it's the first thing that came to mind hopefully there's not cat shit all crusted up underneath your bed if you are a cat person hopefully you're clean you got litter box oh god the smell of a litter box just kidding but maybe you're a cat person right Maybe you can go on locals. You could start your own fucking cat community there and you can invite people to and you can post cat stuff and and cat things and you you could do what point being whatever topic it it is. You can post it and you can start your own community on there in locals. Um, It's so here's here's how to break it down, I guess, the best way I know. Hopefully this makes sense. It's kind of like Facebook, Instagram Facebook and Instagram meets Patreon. Okay. And for those of you who don't know, Patreon is like a, a, a site where you can create content and your audience, the people who follow you, your listeners, the people who um, enjoy your content, they can help support you by uh, making a donation or, you know, doing a monthly subscription. It's kind of like that. So people can always follow on the that so on the that that's always hard to say on the that the that it's weird words don't go together that sober guy podcast locals community anybody can go on there and follow for free you don't have to pay anything you can go on there I'm gonna put the link in the show notes just click on it join join up you'll be able to see posts um, all that stuff please do that that part of it is totally free you don't have to commit to anything but there's also a premium content members only subscription it's seven bucks a month it'll help support that sober guy podcast putting out more content i got other things to come it'll also help everybody stay connected building this community up like some of the things i'm thinking for the premium content when you subscribe live q a sessions unreleased content uh, interviews, uh, maybe even some meetings in the future. Who knows? I mean, really just having some fun though, making po- like I dick around all the time. There's shit that you guys, like, you don't even know what goes on in this house some days. <laughs> and I've stopped posting, uh, you know, anything because I don't have those platforms anymore. This is going to be like an exclusive site for all of us just to hang out and post stuff to help us stay sober and have fun and do all of it together. So we're going to mess around a little bit. Um, you'll get uh, different podcasts. You get videos before the like before the audio podcast comes out. You get a video podcast sometimes. I mean, all this. Who knows? And then I'll get your feedback too. Whatever you guys want to hear. If you want to hear a certain topic, you can make a post that week or that day. Hey, I'd really like to hear about X Y Z relapse. I, I just had a, a cousin who relapsed. Man, who can do you have a guest on? You can talk about relapse. Can you do a little session? All that kind of shit. It's gonna be fucking awesome. I'm stoked. Now, you can comment, you can post, you interact, all that stuff, and uh, all the content we put out for the premium subscribers, you're going to get like the hit new series, Dump Sessions, where I talk recovery early in the morning while sipping on coffee and taking a dump. You'll only get that as a premium. I'm just kidding. I'm totally joking right now. Oh, (laughs) you're so fucking funny, Shane. Just kidding. Just kidding. 
but what that I kind of I don't know that might work dude dump sessions like I'll take a dump and I'll just talk about recovery while I sip coffee what do you think give me some feedback on that maybe you want to see <laughs> maybe we'll make it a show I promise I won't show my balls or my ass you have my word uh, here, okay. I'm sorry. I'm gonna quit joking around now. I am excited about this. Please, if you're still listening to this, <laughs> you can join locals. Uh, I want to make a quick shout out to my boy Colin for being the first official member yesterday yeah. of that Sober Guy Podcast Locals community. Thank you, bro. Even though you're a Yankee fan, it's all good. Okay, we talked some A's and some Yankees baseball yesterday, him and I. Um, but he sent me a pic, too, of him and his brother at the old Yankee Stadium, which is dope. Those memories, they will last forever. Good times right there. But that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about, just connecting and being able to connect with each other. Not just me, all of us. Like, y'all can meet different people up in there, too, that are in recovery, maybe in your area. It's going to be fucking awesome. I'd love to have all you please join. Even if you just are getting it for the free content, please join, please follow. Um, if you feel like you want to support TSG and become a TSG locals member, get all the premium content and interact. Here's what I also did. You can try it for free for 30 days. So go to that sober guy podcast.locals.com. The link is in the show notes. Use the promo code. I quit drinking. I quit drinking. You'll get to try it out. I think it runs out on the 15th of March. So you'll get that promo code. If if it sucks and you fucking hate it and you're like, fuck this, Shane's a dick. This is whack. I'm not doing Then just go away. You don't have to use it. Plain and simple. If you try it out, maybe you like it. Maybe you like the free part. Who knows? But I'm excited about it. I get to be back in some community and talking and goofing around and having some fun. So uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. The link's in the show notes once again. I made it really easy for you to follow. You just download the app, the Locals app, and join that Sober Guy Podcast Locals community. All right. Dr. Drew on Locals. Here's He's got a, a community of a couple thousand followers on there. It's got some good stuff in there. Uh, but this one I wanted to read because I thought it was um, very pertinent. Is that the right word? Pertinent to what's going on right now. He said, California claims to be humanistic, but treats the homeless inhumanely. So sadly, we're in the midst of a massive mental health crisis and a massive drug addiction crisis. No shit. It's everywhere. And it's really sad. In LA County alone, we lose four people a day on average. It breaks my heart. Homelessness can be serious, can be a serious issue requiring access to treatment for mental health and drug addiction. And yet Some laws make it extremely difficult for practitioners to help in a way that's needed. Why do we allow people who are not medically trained to create laws that restrict access to medical help? Yes, no shit. Lobbyists and all kinds of weird crap going on out here in Cali that prevent, like out here, down is up, up is down, one plus one is three, and I'll stop. California prides itself for being humanistic but our government handles the homeless inhumanely. Let's treat mental disorders like other illnesses. Amen to that. It's time we start helping those that need our help most. One, I'm going to give it an applause there again. I got to do it. Like, yeah, dude, you guys should see it. And I I haven't been in LA in a minute, but my homies from LA who listen to the show, y'all probably know damn well, way better than I do. Even on sunset, I heard sunset uh, Boulevard is terrible right now. Um, I heard just in general, a lot of different places in LA, real like worse than it's ever been. And it's been bad down there for a while. Same as up here in Northern California. I haven't been out to San Francisco in a minute and I don't plan to, but that whole area I drove down. Uh, I, well, I have a couple buddies who work out in the Bay. So they'll send me pictures and videos sometimes in like Berkeley, San Francisco. It is sad. It is so sad. Like the amount of people that are out on the street, suffering from mental health, suffering from addiction. I drove down 99. Uh, I think it was last month I was headed out there um, uh, down to Elk Grove area for a little meeting or whatever. And I mean, just down the side of the highway, just tent after tent after tent after tent of people that are out on the street that are suffering. Even right here in Vacaville, it is... It's, it's like I've never seen it before. This town has changed like no other. Um, the influx of people coming in who are out on the street, it's like nothing I've seen. And so, 
you know, here's the question. We can sit and bitch about it all day, right? But what do we do about it? You know, and that's that's something that when I read this, that was the first thing I thought of. I was like, yeah, you know, I got excited just like I kind of did as we're doing the podcast. But it's like, what are some solutions to this? You know, um, and I think it does start like who's leading this charge in our state as far as leadership goes, the laws that they created that Dr. Drew was referring to. Um, restricting access to medical help because of X, Y, and Z, or making these weird ass laws like where if people, um, you know, they 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 want the help, but then they can't get the help because of this this reason or that reason, and it's it's all confusing. And there's this different paperwork for this person, and he can't go here, and then she, like, it's fucking insane, dude. I can't even try to explain it. I feel like I got a booger in my nose right now. Did I keep itching my nose? You can see on the video if you're watching the, the video podcast. I'm not gonna pick it. Oh, good. I just looked at myself. I gotta be reminded again. Don't let me do shots or coke. Good reminder. Good reminder there. All right. So in any case, what do we do about homelessness? What do we do about mental health? Um, obviously, we can talk about it. That's one thing, right? And we try to do that on the podcast here. Try to bring awareness to people in your own communities. You can help out. You can serve. You can do meetings. You can go to meetings. You can talk to people. I like talking to people around when I see them. I don't turn my head and act like I don't like I try to create conversation. People want to feel human. They want to feel like not everybody, you know, some people just had some shitty luck, you know, there's also people who don't want the help. Um, I have a couple friends, really good friends who are police officers here. And, uh, one of them in particular works on the street with our, um, it's a response team to the homeless community addiction, um, kind of unit that helps some of these people try to get off the street. And what he tells me is that, you know, a lot of them don't want the help. A lot of them, um, are in and out of jail and they commit a crime and then they go to jail for the night. And then because of these bullshit ass laws and stuff that Dr. Drew is kind of referring to, they're back out on the street and not getting the help that they need. So let's lock them up in a cage, but not give them the help. And then they're back out on the street. It's a fucking mess in California. It really is. So you know what we can do? We can pray too. We got to, we got to pray just to make it today. That's how we pray. Pray. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm not making light of this, but sometimes we have to make light of things that are so serious that they can fuck you up. Really? Like the shit that we see is sad. You know, it, 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 and especially if it's a family member or a friend, like we got, there's, there's a person here in particular I'm thinking of right now that we went to high school with Jess and I in middle, went to middle school with her. Actually, she's so far gone. Um, you know, we see her walking down the street sometimes and her, she's got chunks pulling out of her hair. Uh, she wears little short mini skirts. And I don't know if, I don't know if she's a hooker or I don't know what she's doing. You know what I mean? But I know she's obviously mentally ill and she's obviously not getting the treatment and the help that she needs. So anyways, this will be an ongoing conversation, um, and it, it, you know, it'll continue to, uh, to be an issue. Um, and hopefully, you know, there's some changes that are made and hopefully we can help bring those to light. Um, all right, let's jump into the content for today, specifically put on some reggae and slow the hell down. What do I want to talk about today on this? Put on some reggae and slow the hell down. Do you ever feel like you're just you're it's all over the place. Like you can't get focused. You can't slow down. Um, you're just, you're going a mile a minute. Your mind goes a mile a minute. Sometimes it even happens to me in bed, like where I'm trying to sleep and my mind just won't turn off. And it just depends on what you got going on. Um, we have to be able to slow down and to stop. And, and part of that for me is just being conscious of it. And that's like step one in, in actually being able to do something about it is being conscious of it, I guess is what I'm getting at. So, um, you know, one of the things I like to do to kind of slow down and to, um, you can call it meditate. It's kind of a form of meditation for me is go on a walk in the mornings. Everyone, I'm usually the first one up. Um, you know, I grab my coffee, throw my shoes on the sun's coming up. I'm going to grab the dog to start my day. Mr. Brody, Brodeth Paul the third. He's like twelve now. 
dude, I think I said last week how he has to piss like every two hours. It fucking drives me insane because I have to get up every couple hours to go take him to the bathroom. But um, I love taking him for a walk in the morning. One of my favorite things to do. And grab my coffee, get on, you know, and just get out and just go as the sun's coming up, whether it's cold out, nice out, whatever. It's a really a great way to kind of get my, my day going. I can think about some things. I can not think about some things. I can really like the intent is to slow down, get a little walk in. Right. I'm not trying to like, I ain't trying to pimp walk and you know, I, I ain't doing a pimp stroll down the street, but I'm, you know, I'm not going too fast. I'm not going too slow. I'm just chilling. I'm listening to some reggae this morning. I was listening to, I think you say it, Sasha Mun, Sasha Mun. You ever heard of him? He's got a song. I, he just came up one day a couple years ago. It's called This Is What I Do. This is what I do. Doom, 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 doom. This is what I do. Doom, doom. Dope ass song. So I had some of that on today. I looked up some of his older stuff. I think he's from Hawaii. I think. I didn't look into that, so don't quote me on it. But anyways, I put on some reggae. Okay, because I'm like, damn, I want to get back in this mood. It's supposed to chill me out. It's going to get me in a good mood. Take me back to that San Diego vibe. Oops, I just almost stabbed myself with a, with a pin. Um, as a matter of fact, let's look at this playlist right now. This is my San Diego 2019. I guess anybody can search this. You can look this playlist up on Spotify if you want. San Diego 2019. It was our, our trip we took down there um, uh, for one of the foundation's uh, conferences and you got revolution uh you got sashaman tribal seeds the green i love the green there's a song called wake up by the green that's dope 2 a.m by slightly stupid is like our song that we rolled to san diego to um every year some damian marley uh even got some rancid on here some sublime some dirty heads uh some charlie crockett um who else pepper i mean all kinds of good stuff on here right what's my point on this is that this is kind of the mood i'm trying to set right now okay I'm trying to get on my walk in the morning my coffee and just chill put some music on put some chill music on in fact i was at the barber shop the other day shout out to primos here in vacaville and uh uh my barber marty and i were talking about how putting on some reggae always makes you feel good like you could be in a shitty ass mood and be like, you know what? I'm gonna put some Peter Tosh on right now. I'm gonna put some Bob Marley. I'm gonna put some uh, The Green on right now, or whatever it is. Some Pepper, some Sublime. Let's put some of that on and just it sets the mood, kind of chills you out a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. I'm walking. I'm doing my thing, and I'm probably like 15 minutes in to the walk, and I realize something. I'm caught up all in my head. I haven't even heard what songs are going on. All in my head is just going, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There's thoughts going on crazy. I'm walking fast. I'm yanking on the dog. Brody, he's fucking, he's pissing and and he's shit. Yeah, I think he shit two different times. Right on. So you got to bend down. Who likes carrying shit around, by the way, in a bag? I God, I hate that. You need to invent. We want vaporize. Remember vaporizer on, uh, the hell is that movie called envy with jack black he just like takes the little can and then when your dog shits you can just spray it on there and it just disappears that would be amazing but no i gotta pick this shit up with my little hand in the bag and then pick it up and then tie it up and then carry it around how's your walk going it's great i'm just walking around carrying my coffee and my dog's shit amazing anyways i did find a garbage can and toss it in there but i'm going down you know i'm so for 15 minutes of this walk that's supposed to be this nice relaxing reggae walk i'm not slowing down i'm hurrying up i, I gotta do this i gotta do that i'm thinking about what i need to do what i didn't do what i should do what i've done or what i've said what i need to say i'm completely like totally out of the moment and it finally like hits me like i'm like oh man Dude, and I had, I like literally had to stop for a second and, um, and, and kind of like, like take a moment and pause. This is that a lot in the big book pause. We pause, I think it's 80 page 86. One of my, let's actually, let's, let's grab it. I got it right behind me right here and it's open to, oh, I'm sorry, 84. This is uh probably on awakening. Oh no, this is, uh, 
thought it was 86. Yeah, 86 is on Awakening. On this, uh, let's see, where's the pause part? I think it is. I just wanted to read it really fast because it, it uh, on Awakening, I'll just read the on Awakening. I think I did this last week too, didn't I? We consider our plans for the day. Before we, before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking. <clears throat> in thinking about our day, we may face indecision. We may, we may not be able to determine which course to take. Here we ask God for inspiration and intuitive thought or decision. Here it is. This is what I was looking for. We relax and we take it easy. We don't struggle. We're often surprised how the right answers come after we've tried this for a while. So instead I'm walking down the street, totally hypnotized. Like that's the weird shit. Like we're actually literally hypnotized when we're doing this. You're totally out of reality. You're not in your right mo. You're not in the moment whatsoever. And you're, you're completely disconnected from your reality. The smells, the sights, um, the time with my dog. So I have to be conscious and slow my mind down and slow my walk down or the auto that's a good way to put it in autopilot it's like you're on autopilot you're, you're just going and your mind's going insane and the, the i shouldn't even say your mind i want to restate that please restate the statement the mind takes over you know and so yeah i stopped for a minute and um i is uh, by this time I was already kind of almost by the time I'd kind of like realized it and then stopped for a minute and then walked a little bit more and tried to like breathe and uh, and I'm gonna go over a couple points on like application points like how do we slow down a little bit in just a second I'm almost done um, but as as we kind of got on the home stretch I took my I took my uh, AirPods out I I took the music off I turned it off and I just slowed down. I, I took a couple breaths, the sounds, the smells. Um, and it was funny as I realized one of the smells, um, it smelled like onions. <laughs> and what's funny is Vacaville's known as like one of, it used to be like an onion capital. There was a big ass onion factory here. And it was weird as I was kind of walking and, you know, I smelled the onion. I don't know where, if maybe someone was cooking breakfast. I have no idea. But point being, I could smell a smell. I was in the moment. I was smelling that in that moment at that time. And as, as simple and kind of goofy as that sounds, I wasn't often in outer space, which I tend to do often because that's just my, a lot of us who are in recovery, our minds are just fucked like that. They go all over the place. They space out. It's really hard to focus. Um, I've always kind of been like that. I'm an artist as well. So anybody who knows anything, or if you have a hint of artistic nature in you, you know what I'm talking about. So how do we slow down? Okay. How do we stay conscious of slowing down and recognize when the mind goes off into a future or a past reality? It's just not in the moment. Here's your answer. I don't fucking know. <laughs> what if I did that? I was like, I don't, I don't know. And I just said, okay, have a great week. See you later. See you next time. I don't know. Figure it out yourself. No. But really, like, I, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. That's kind of my point to that. But I do know a few things that work for me. And so let me share those with you. Reggae music is one of them. Even though in this example I gave, it actually didn't help for some reason, which is weird because normally it will. A lot of the time, too, I think with music, though, it does kind of put you in a hypnosis state and you it's really it can make it easy to zone out. And so sometimes I think no music, just quietness is good too. Maybe it's a mix of both. Like some days I won't walk with headphones in. I'll just walk and it's quiet. And that, I think that does help me stay more in the moment. Some days I want to hear some music. I want to get in like this vibe kind of mood and just kind of chill and, um, you know, do like just listen. Uh, so just depending on what mood you're in, what works for you, you can put some music on. Um, try out that San Diego playlist. Check it out. Uh, another one is breathe, just taking a breath. That was the first thing I did actually when I stopped and, and when it finally like hit me that like, wait a minute, dude, you're, you need to slow down. You're going way too fast right now, bro. You're like power walking. It's like, remember the, el the elbows were going out. Remember those people when you'd see them walking in the bike lane all in their mom gear, their, uh, their dad gear, and they're doing the power walk. 
yeah, that's what I was doing damn near. That's what I felt like. I had to stop and breathe for a minute. Take a breath. Just. Let's all take a breath right now. Let's do that actually on three. One, two, three. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Feels good, right? Makes you stop in the moment. Take a breath. So as soon as you realize that, wait a minute, I need to slow down. Take a breath. Another one, stay still. Just stand there for a minute. Stand there and take a breath. That's exactly what I did. Looked around me. Get quiet too. No music, like I was saying. No, no podcast, no nothing. Like get quiet. Silence everything. Smell the air. Smell what's around you. Like I was saying, I smelled the onion. Like it's so simple, but like what are the smells that you're experiencing in that moment? Like, and this is a good way for me too. Like when I'm pissed off, uh, this same stuff applies. Like stop, breathe, stay still, like smell, um, like relax. You know, we, we relax. We take it easy. We know God's got us. We know that we're going to be in the moment. Like and then in addition to smell to that, to that, you know, what, what do you smell around you? See, like, take a look around you. Like, what do you, what are you surrounded by? Where, like, I'm like in that moment, I'm walking my dog. There's Brody right there. I'm going to pet Brody. I'm very conscious of that. I'm going to feel his white fluffy fur. You know, you're, you're doing that in that moment. You're recognizing you're in that moment. And it's so different than being completely disconnected. You know, we live in this society and this culture of everything is fast paced. And I'm just as guilty of it as anybody being on my phone. I'm on the computer a lot for work. Um, Obviously podcasting and, and productions. I mean, there's a lot of shit that goes into it and I'm, I'm, I have a lot of screen time. So it's really hard to separate that sometimes we're locked in, you know, and it does something to our, our neurological system. So I just sounded really smart. I said, he said neurological system. (laughs) Isn't that what it is? Neuroscience, right? It's our nerve. It's neurons. That's not a word. I don't know, but we're enjoying the moment. Okay. This is the last thing. Enjoying the moment. We're focusing on slowing down everything that we do and be in the moment throughout the whole day. That's the point of this. So like when we feel that we're super rushed, maybe the best thing to do is to just chill, the, like chill out and just slow down. We think we need to go faster. We need speed to get there. We need to, I need to talk faster. I need to get, I need to do this quicker. Like, uh, and don't get me wrong. Some, sometimes we got to get shit done quick. I get it. But I'm saying on an overall big perspective, when we have the ability to slow down, and sometimes we don't think we need to slow down. We think we need to go faster. Maybe we actually just need to slow the fuck down. And and that in turn ends up being more productive in the long run, mentally, physically, spiritually. So I hope that made sense. I hope you get something out of that. Next time, just think, hey, may, maybe I need to stop and slow down a little bit here. And I know for me, it helped. it helped quite a bit this morning. It helped throughout the whole rest of the day today. I was just in a, I got everything I needed to get done too. I had a list of shit earlier today for work and I got it all done. And now I'm in, this was on the list as well to record today. So slow down, put on some reggae, do whatever the heck you want, whatever it takes, put on some Charlie Crockett. I love some Charlie Crockett. Uh, I'm not afraid. That's a great song. That's my boy, my little boy cash. He loves that song. Dad, put on Charlie Crockett wants to play that a lot speaking of music too if you, if you want to see the video of this podcast if you get on the local site you'll be able to do that i got some records in the background today i'm kind of swapping them out got a little mac mall back there got some elvis presley uh what else we got going on we got the first tool album opiate one of my favorites got some e40 the uh second e40 album in a major way that's probably my favorite e40 album that and uh uh, holla game i love holla game i've been trying to find that on vinyl but i can't find it for any cheaper than like 50 bucks so haven't pulled the trigger on that what else we got we got some potluck uh hip-hop old school homies from humboldt county i think e40 is on that some mike ness some too short 
uh, the streets. That's behind my head there. You can't see that right there. The streets. That's some good stuff. All kinds of good stuff going on, man. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Hope you got something out of it. Leave us a review if you'd like. I uh, hope something spoke to you. Let's slow our minds down. Uh, let's practice being in the moment. Let's practice just being. Not more, more, more. Maybe it's less, less, less. Share the podcast with a friend. Check us out at thatsoberguy.com. Uh, man, and please join us on the That Sober Guy podcast locals community, man. I hope to see everybody jumping on there. I can't wait to uh, connect with you. Peace, love, and respect. Keep your blood clean. Thank you for all your support. It does really mean a lot to me. Appreciate you guys. Peace.